Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest G's, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk um, as it be. If today now the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for now massive support to this channel. I say may God bless all of you now in Jesus name. Amen. I get video away I want to present to Una this very moment. And I go to follow now. They watch the video. After we don't watch them together, make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. At the polling unit of the APC gubernatorial candidate, Senator Andy Hoover, I'm receiving live pictures from Uga village here in Aguata local government, Anambra. Karam again, Karam again. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are still live here at uh, Aofia um, Water 13 Polling Unit 002, where I had earlier said um, voting stopped for some hours and is still on hold for up to this moment due to the bad uh, machine that was incurred at the very early stage of the process. As you can see, people are still seated, um, waiting patiently to vote. Uh, I guess um, the loyalty here 
is pretty much um, strong and solid. Um, uh, earlier, we said um, the all progressive alliance guidance party um, candidate, governorship candidate, and uh, in person of Professor um, Chukuma Soludo came earlier, arrived earlier rather, and was about casting his vote when he noticed um, this, there was um, a, a, a disheartening um, mood in the, in the act of voters here. Uh, he tried as much as possible to correct the situation, um, to prefer a solution to the situation. But um, in the end, I guess um, all to vanity upon vanity, and he was, he was not still he was not yet able to, um, or do I say, the solution didn't come the way he was pushing out for it to come. Um, we also spoke about the presence, uh, the, the coming of um, the technician, I mean, the electoral technician who came earlier to fix um, the problem they were having here in Ward 13, um, in your fear for uh, your fear, Ward 13, Unit 002. Uh, let me take you around um, the situation so you can see that um, voters here are pretty much happy to vote. But what do we say? The situation do not warrant people to be so joyful and so mesmerized to come or to. Um, um, we're sorry for the short um, technical um, fault. Patience, as I said, is a thing people need to end. Uh, the people here, the voters rather here, are not um, holding back thoughts towards the pressure they are pulling on the voters. As you can see, the the, uh, the, the zeal to push more, the e the eagerness to um, do their franchise, to let their voices or their fingers speak for them is still ongoing. As you can see, it's still ongoing and much more crowded in front of um, the electoral observers. observers tension in the eyes in the face of people we also said earlier that um, virtually all places or all politicians in the state is expressing the same thing you're seeing right here as you can see the pressure you're seeing right here is this is it's still the same tension. much more some local government where um, information which you not said the materials to be used for voting has not even left the local government rather than getting to the racket point then to the words where voting will commence but eh, as you see as you can see the people are here um they are here and you know they are trying as much as possible to reason and make sure they observe their citizen rights their franchise to vote for that man who will be in the governor house to push an umbrella forward. Let me talk to one or two people, pe um, voters, just to know the mood and how they feel, how it's faring for them um, here in Anambra. The fight is still ongoing. The fight to vote is still ongoing. People are making sure they observe their civil right here. But no matter the case, they do not wish to go home without doing the needful. And this is how you've seen it so far in this your four here uh, in Anambra State. I will bring you more, more information as it unfolds.